here at the University of Eastern Africa Baraton, total membership involvement is not about public evangelism, it's personal. And we divided our community into small groups so that we can uh, have members closer to themselves, working one-on-one, -on -one, and it has borne quite some fruit. Where we were leading worship or assigning faculty members to lead worship, now you find in uh, employees' power units, they lead their own worship. In student power units, they lead their own worship. And so we are not enjoying the sitting back, but we are enjoying the fact that God's people are participating in God's work. I just wish people would do this in other places, not just in Baraton, like involve youth as much as we are involved here like you know another church you feel kind of left out you feel kind of your potential is not fully blown but here you know i don't know whether it's just because we are still but even with faculty you feel that that freeness to serve god so yeah it's a good experience people will look to your to your character your actions more than what you say and i think one of the best way to to share in the total member involvement is we walk our talk, that our life is showing what we talk and that makes it even more powerful. And I think Baraton giving us a chance to interact also with those who are not Christians and them being able to see how we live not only outside here but also in the, in the, in the hostels I think is very important. The most effective evangelism is personal because you have more people participating. But when I preach alone up on a pulpit and members give money and disappear, we will win some souls. But when they come in, they may not find the warmth as if you compare to the time where the whole membership gets involved. It is tiresome. This is what I will say. Going through total membership involvement of personal evangelism is a tiresome work. It's not easy. It doesn't have quick results. But if we are patient enough, we'll achieve it. Hello, my name is Maya. I'm from America, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But I've grown up in Africa my whole life. And I've come to Baritan to study nutrition and dietetics. And the reason why I came here is for the spiritual um, life that they give you. And I appreciate how we go to church on Saturday and Friday. Though I'm not SDA, but I appreciate how my spiritual growth has grown higher and higher and better. The Father has a plan, though it's hard. If you're not belonging to a singing group, at least you have to sing in church. The music servers are awesome. So, yeah, and the special power units for the students, it's, it's good because you come together as students, talk about God, the way you understand Him. And the AYS program, it's always on Friday evening. And, you know, you all come together, different nationalities, and all of you are praising God in your own way. And you're bringing up experiences the way you feel. So, yeah, I like that about Barato. The, the impact that we see every day is when students interact with faculty members and probably they share their challenges and they get that concern and love where the faculty member goes beyond their call of duty to be limited just in the professional work in class, we find that students get baptized. Uh, we also have a situation where students come to us with challenges, probably drug abuse, they are already addicted to and they have wrong lifestyle. And sometimes when we bear with them and give them time and through even disciplinary processes, we have seen people change their way of life. And when graduation day comes, while they are taking their certificates, their diplomas and walking away, we are also pleased to say that they are walking home with a better life because they have gotten the gospel right, they have gotten the lifestyle offered on campus right, and they have gotten the love from Christian brothers and sisters right. Every semester they send or uh, they invite special guests who come and share spiritual things with us and it's really uplifting and that's why I like it. Spiritually we are growing. It has been a wonderful experience to be able to dialogue, to be able to connect with the young people. I've been hearing from them that it has really opened their eyes. I'm, I'm just so privileged that I belong to this church at the same time to be having this program which has the ability to change people's lives not only for this earth but also for eternity. What a wonderful time when we get to heaven and we can see some of these young people or some of these people who have heard the message and say thank you so much. There's one thing that I've learned from it as, as, as a preacher that our comfort 
does not really matter as much as our character. We never get to a point where we say, this is a match of evangelism. So it's an everyday thing, an every week thing that we, we grow spiritually. My greatest joy, the day my assignment will be done around here, will be to look back and say that God's people have moved from being spectators to being participants in the mission. Because many times people will congregate in church waiting to see a, somebody appear up front and it's more like theater. The preacher comes, acts out, the people applaud and walk away. And my desire will be that we will move from that to a level where all of us share that ministry so that the only audience we will have will be God and the angels watching us while we do His will.